is deep on the detail and the shading. Thanks, man. I'm also, uh, I'll just come out of this for a second, obsessed with saving it and then going to check how it looks on the car for some reason. Cannot help myself. Even if I've only done 10 minutes work, I then save it and go and see how it looks on the car. Now, as you can see, I, I, I've alternated the colours just so that it would show up a bit better on the, the paint at the moment. Uh, but once it's finished, the shading on it will ensure that the black shows up really well, even though it's on a, a really dark background. Um, it is a custom paint as well. Uh, for that, I chose one, the glitter paint, I think, the green one. Let's see how shiny is it? It was that, the two-tone polished. Um, I, I went with that and it's a black and a white paint, uh, dark grey sorry, uh, and it just gives it a nice dark grey finish. I didn't want it too black, uh, so it's good. That's a good idea actually, yeah, I never thought of it that, cheers. <laughs> Thanks Greenies. <laughs> So yeah, back to the final. So, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, you just have to bear with me while I fill all this in. Uh, it's going to take us some time. But there's no easy way around it. Good vinyls take a lot of time. And uh, I mentioned this on Twitter earlier on. I've got a couple of hours to do this today, tonight. Usually they take six to eight hours. Um, I did the Millennium Falcon recently and that took six hours just for, just for the Falcon. And you you might find you might find a better way, a more efficient way of, of filling it in than I do. Yeah, they they take hours. Yeah. Yeah, you might find a bit a bit more of an efficient way than the circles like this, because uh, I find that I'm not actually using very much of the straight line part of it, but it's just the way that I know it's the way that I know works. Um, so that's what I stick to. I'm afraid. No, you can't import uh, images from Google. Uh, you have to create them yourself. I do use Google, but I use Google to find the images and then display them while I create them. I'm currently sitting here with a, a page open on my phone looking at a picture of, of Venom. That being said, when when Forza 2 came out, uh, there was a Halo design going around on a 430 that I loved. I, I had no idea how they'd done that and I spent days looking online trying to find out how you went about importing images into the game. And then I managed to buy one from the auction house that was unlocked, it didn't have the locked design on it. And suddenly I figured out how they went about it and I was amazed, totally amazed. I'd never be able to do something like that. Uh, but as I've practice and practice by you get better with each one little things you learn and stuff yeah pretty much the competition who could find the best picture and then put it on in a nice way
<laughs> I, I thought so. If it had been anybody else, I, I might have like actually wondered if they were asking legitimately, but uh, I know you're a painter. Sometimes you can get into really fiddly shapes, like this bit up here is going to be, uh, you have to work, just work on a smaller scale, um, but you do get some difficult bits every now and again, hands are a pain in the bum. Uh, what I tend to do is then make them massive on the screen, um, but I just, I'll show you just now, highlight all the layers, position them, and then you can make them really big, uh, and then uh, work there. Now, as you can see, having done that, there are little tiny gaps of white showing through between the line and the black. This is what I was saying a bit earlier, uh, is that once you've done it, you'll then need to go, if you've not been careful enough like me, which is it's really hard to get right first attempt, um, you'll have to go back and just put in the shapes. There shouldn't be that many to do, generally. And with this being black on black, generally you won't notice. Sometimes if I'm uh, being really strict with my quality, what I'll do is I'll take uh, a square, paint it an alternate colour, make it big so that it fills the whole background. I won't do it now though. Uh, I'll do. Put it behind the work and that'll show me if there's any colour coming through, basically. Yeah, I I'm learning more tips than you guys. Oh, that's good. I've been waiting all day for them to do that. I think I was on early this morning, but uh, no, they've been off since this afternoon. They do have turn ten. They do have a really good community management stuff, like because like Destiny, they don't even speak to you when you're bitching and moaning at them about the fact that you're getting cut off halfway through strikes and and you just can't play your game or whatever. Uh, and they just they completely ignore you. Uh, but turn ten, they nearly always try to interact with you and deal with your issues and stuff most of the time. hate doing teeth, they're almost bad at doing faces. <laughs> mm. 
in the essence of saving time, I try to cut. I don't take, I don't cut corners, but I do take shortcuts and create less work for myself. And in my next tutorial, I'm planning on covering a lot of my little shortcuts and flipping things properly and things like that to make what you're doing less work. But teeth is something you just cannot get around. They're not the same enough to be able to make one and then just and paste it, copy and paste it. You have to individually make them all. Eyes are not too bad. Uh, generally, oh yeah, a oh werewolf, bloody hell. Well, this isn't the first time I've done Venom as well. I did him on, that sounds rude, on uh, Forza 4. Um, I never really got to share it for certain reasons, um, but I, I did create one, uh, this picture actually, and I had Carnage looking at him uh, from the other side. So if the line where his neck is, that was the back wheel. I had Carnage up against the front wheel looking at him. It looked like they were licking each other's faces. I had to adjust the tongues and stuff. But uh, that was a really good one. Again, if you've got any questions or anything, just feel free to ask. We're going to be here for a while. Look how much neater my line is now that I've zoomed it up. It was smart thinking. Cheers for that. Metasphere. Metasphere. Read that wrong, sorry. Oh, speaking of reading things wrong. Uh, the world seems to think that my name is Doozib85, but it is not. It is Doozy B, as in Susie, but it's Doozy B. It's a nickname that I got called at work was Stoozy. So when I was looking uh, for a gamer tag, that's what I put my ass. And because it's unique, nobody else has it. <laughs> <laughs> 